So some strangeness happened today. It's kind of unbelievable. Uh, no one, well, I want to read you a paste bin that um, was shared on Data Dash. Um, I don't know his exact YouTuber name. I've been watching him for a while. His name escapes me at the moment, but I will have a link to his channel in his show notes. He's one of the better trader YouTubers out there because he 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 does the technical analysis and then he reiterates his stuff in like kind of a, a medium format, like a medium le skill level, and then he does like a beginner skill level. So he he says things almost in like three. He says the same thing over and over again, like expert, medium easy and I, I really appreciate it because he he knows he's talking to a wider audience he wants people to understand and know what's going on uh, he's very engaging uh, kind of a young guy knows his stuff he's been around in the space for a bit uh, knows what he's doing talks about all sorts of different coins Bitcoin mostly uh, but all the different types of coins and trading and what's going on in the space he also unlike some other traders it's not just about getting in, getting out, and getting the money. He, he talks about the philosophy, his mindset, uh, not being, you know, everyone says not being emotional, but why he's in this space, why he does the things he does, why he doesn't trade what he does, when he does and doesn't. And particularly, you can kind of get the sense of that tonight as he was talking about this live, he was showing the live feed in a two-part video, a live stream of the Bitcoin cash run-up. Uh, you saw the charts earlier. Uh, Bitcoin cash jumped from 900 to 2,000 and 2,200 the last time I checked. Uh, Bitcoin dropped about 5,500 then it rose up to 6,100. Uh, basically it's uh, yeah it's it's a crazy thing that's going on right now. I am not exactly sure why this is happening now I mean I talked about it earlier in my video about how these companies because you know they didn't get the two megabyte uh, part of the agreement they agreed for Segway they didn't get the two megabyte some are saying they knew it wasn't gonna happen and that's why the Bitcoin cash happened and that was just when Bitcoin cash first came out that this was a you know that's when the conspiracies were going on uh, that they weren't gonna I was talking about how they might not be there to for lightning network or any other additional upgrades uh, that was my position, how they might, you know, not upgrade to SegWit in and of itself. Uh, particularly Coinbase, it wouldn't be their interest to switch from 1 to 3 for that address because they're getting so many new users. Economically speaking, that is not really in their interest to do something like that. Uh, but it seems like these miners and these companies, um, according to this paste bin, um, are conspiring together to make Bitcoin cash the Bitcoin, which is something that's been going on, you know, the rumor going on for a while. For the sole purpose of uh, control, uh, centralization, if you will, centralizing the development, the mining, and the companies that have a say on the development of Bitcoin, having control over it, versus Bitcoin right now, where it's decentralized, you have all these research companies. Sorry for the interrupt, as you can see here, I'm having a bit of a, a dog attack here. My dog Spartacus is... Uh, just showing me some affection right at the moment. Uh, but to carry my thought, uh, people are, are considering this, you know, attack on Bitcoin. That they're trying to manipulate the market. And it is obvious manipulation of the market. And there are probably people that are jumping in, uh, taking, you know, full advantage. Mind you, not all the Bitcoin cash has been released. Coinbase has a significant chunk locked up that's not supposed to be released to January. Uh, not all like local bitcoins and a few other places didn't even release bitcoin cash to people so you have some exchanges themselves that you know if you're wondering why they they didn't release that bitcoin cash or split that for their customers now you kind of know and there's a big massive run-up so up to 2200 dollars and climbing and this is a massive pump bitcoin is trying to make a gains mind you this is a federal holiday here in the states uh, middle of the night for the most part and then you have uh, morning time people just waking up and I think with Australia this is you know, so this was done pretty much dead of the night really right at the crux of the weekend major holiday there's even a holiday for in China where you know November 11th singles day uh, so people are a little distracted 
Uh, weekends are typically, you know, slow. That's when people do a little bit dumping anyways, not that much traffic because people are still working nine to five, you know, and then they have their weekends to themselves. Uh, they're not really just, you know, hopping on and doing trades or doing the market. But, you know, lesson learned here, cryptocurrency is 24 seven. You gotta be on it. You gotta get your alerts up. And thankfully, uh, Data Dash, you know, he had his alerts up and he was doing his live stream. I caught most of the tail end, like the last hour of it. And again, I will have a link in the in the show notes here um, to his channel. It's a great channel. But uh, basically, it's just crazy. I, I don't know where to go here. I don't know what to think. You know, I like many aspects of Bitcoin Cash, but I also talked a little bit about how um, while the philosophy is there, like the whole concept of actually being not just storage value. This is something that's harped a lot about by Bitcoin Maxilis. And then we'll have currency, they say, you know. Um, I think I'm going to do a video just on the, again about the whole porting of the 20, I talked about it in my last video about con economic concept of the 20th century where they're not really too, too much applicable here and it's time to kind of break away from that. We don't necessarily have to have storage value and then medium transfer and then you get uh, exchange, you know, cur currency. There's like four stages. I have to really look to make sure I get the order right. Uh, why can't we do it all at once? I mean, this internet is 21st century. This is something new. I don't see why, if we don't have a centralized planning system here, controlling everything, that we have to go through all those stages. Um, but that's just my thing. So the philosophy of Bitcoin Cash, or at least as that's presented to everyone, is that you know, it's going to be currency, it's going to be cash, it's not just storage value solely, it's going to be, trans, you know, all these merchants are going to adopt, you know, low transaction fees, and you're going to use it for your daily transaction, coffee, uh, buying things, trading things, doing things on the internet. And that is a great philosophy, that's what gravitated many people to Bitcoin, and right now it's just very difficult with the, the high fees, even with SegWit adoption, using SegWit adoption, uh, addresses the fees are very high and people are saying it's because too many people are, are utilizing the network this is what network adoption does you know who cares if you're spending three dollars bringing you're transmitting a, term, a tremendous amount of money but if you're doing currency you you know spending 50 cents 20 cents and I've talked about this before how um, the concept of micro transactions at least according to the banking system is below 20 bucks so anything below 20 bucks is considered a micro transaction and when you're trying to do, if you think about it, like, you know, just like today, I went and I got, I uh, went down to my local convenience store and I got um, some beer, soda, some donuts. I was doing, um, I don't even have a link in the show notes to that. I was doing a, a live commentary of the latest episode of Mr. Robot for season three, episode five called Runtime Era. So I got some chocolate donuts. I got a little beer to drink, to do shots. Um, I got some soda of just to keep myself up, a um, little energized, uh, got a little uh, treat for someone else in my household, and spent about $13, all in all. That's, you know, a microtransaction, swipe my card. Uh, the other day, I, you know, I did some shopping for a pair of jeans. It was 16 bucks, plus some socks and um, some earbuds and you know, all in all, I spent maybe like $36, so a little bit above microtransaction. But you kind of get the point where if I was doing that all in Bitcoin, I might have been also spending, in, not to mention paying taxes, an additional maybe 5 or $10 to transfer that, that wealth. That, that doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't uh, for daily interactions. And people are like, oh, we're not there yet. We're not there. Well, we were there. We were there, and there were some changes, like there are uh, RBF and just not raising the block size and you know what SegWit could be the solution to bringing um, the fees down it's just there's not enough SegWit addresses or enough usage of people uh, I saw it through and he's in his link will also be in the show notes James Bond where it's like around 10 to 12 percent of people are using uh, SegWit addresses so the low fees that were promised is not exactly occurring and then you have a tweet by Peter Todd saying, stop emphasizing the fact that Segway is supposed to lower transaction fees. But anyways, kind of get back to this run up here. Uh, it's a little crazy. It's a little manipulation. Uh, Bitcoin Cash was, uh, it is centralized. It's being mined just basically by a small group of miners, maybe four 
uh, miners in one big old block is not diversified, is not diversified in location, not diversified in the grouping of people, pools, things of that nature. Uh, even the development, um, the teams and stuff like that, they say they have multiple teams, but I'm not seeing multiple GitHubs or repos or people working on it. I do see a lot of tweets about people doing wallets and things on their own, but not something that, that was coalescing like you have for Bitcoin. So that's a bit of a pause. Uh, I've also stated that this might have been like Bitcoin Cash prior to the, the China shutdown of the, the exchanges in, in China that the Bitcoin Cash could potentially become a Chinese coin because it was mined by China. Uh, Chinese miners primarily um, has a significant Chinese influence. Um, that still might be the case if there's come to some state sponsor behind this at all. If at all, there's a lot of capital when it comes to pumping up this price. But it could also just be uh, these uh, whales that have been in the space collecting all these Bitcoin, dumping them, and then turning around and putting it into uh, Bitcoin Cash and using their fiat to pay the electricity bill for the networking and, and the marketing and, and for this pump and the trading fees. Uh, but anyways, um, I'm going to show you the chart again. So there's that and uh, I'm going to read you this little paste bin thing and I don't know, it's going to be very crazy. It will be interesting to see. It's, it's Sunday. We're not even at Monday yet. We still have some time to go and it's still kind of going on. I think a couple exchanges shut down because of the overload. Uh, so I might be coming back up. So we'll see where this takes us, what Monday brings. Uh, as of now, it, it seems a little bit chaotic. But I just wanted to hop on and talk about it. And just, I've never personally ever seen this. I've seen a lot of dumps and pumps in my time in this space, but I've never seen this valuation that's been moving. And I don't know what this means. I don't know if it's going to be a flippening. I don't know if Bitcoin Cash is going to end up destroying Bitcoin. That's not something I personally want. I think they can both exist. I personally believe that. I think people should go about and do their own little thing, uh, take their ball and go. But there is no need to destroy the other chain or no need to, um, yeah, destroy the other chain. Just if you want Bitcoin Cash to be the way it is, if you think by somehow through free marketing and uh, market adoption, it will end up becoming the cryptocurrency that everyone utilizes and become, in essence, the one coin, the rule of all, which I don't personally believe in itself, then so be it. But there's no need to take out Bitcoin in and of itself. There's a lot of problems with Bitcoin. There's a lot of things that they can do better and upgrading and changes and some of that's coming in the works. Um, but there's no need for this destruction. If this what what this pastebin um, article I'm about to read is true, so I'm gonna end with reading the pastebin stuff. Uh, uh, but until next time, friends. Sarosha Thai, Sarosha Thai, Sarosha Shai. It's it's late uh, to the moon. Traders, certain information has come to my attention that's causing me grave concerns, and I feel it's my duty to warn each and every one of you. We all know that scaling drama has caused a huge rift, resulting in Bitcoin forking into soon-to-be Bitcoin cash. I know many have large holdings and savings in Bitcoin and are holders and will never sell, so when selling starts, you may lose everything if you don't also sell. Gentlemen, this is certainly not going to be gentlemen. Certain information has come to light from back room channels, sources I can't disclose. Even writing this post will probably reveal my source, but I feel by God's will I must warn you all. Selling is coming. Selling the likes of which haven't been seen since Mt. Gox era. Already as I type, this battleship of Bitcoin are being shortened in all major exchanges. Gentlemen, the enemy, the big blockers, have concluded and joined forces. The Chinese, Chong, and Co. have bought I have put together a plan to replace Bitcoin with Bitcoin Cash. The plan goes like this. Chinese miners, F2 pool, Ant pool, etc., etc., have organized with major exchanges via Huba, Okoy Coin, etc., to support and launch Bitcoin Cash. Initially, they'll let everyone who wants to sell sell. And once the coin is bottomed out and everyone who wanted to sell is sold, 
They, the Chinese miners, jihad, Chinese exchanges, will begin accumulating lots and lots of Bitcoin cash. This will then begin to pump the price to around 0.1 BCC slash BTC, or 10%. The big pools won't mine it. They will let the um, smaller pools see the re returns from mining this expensive but low difficulty coin and start mining it. Later, the large pools will join. As we know, Jihad has a lot of hashing power. The plan is for Bitcoin Cash to have more hashing power than Bitcoin. And let's be honest, once the Chinese move over, this is pretty much it. Around this time, the hard fork section of Segway2x is not going to happen. It never was. Bitcoin Cash will then be seen as the original NYA coin. At that point in time, Bitcoin Cash will be on all major Chinese exchanges, possibly some Western exchanges as well, and have majority, ha majority hash power. Western companies and merchant providers, BitPay, at a Spar, etc., paid off by Bitmain, etc., will go along with the new Bitcoin Cash narrative and will push for the Bitcoin Cash to be called Bitcoin on all their platforms, leaving only Coinbase, etc., all, which will then be the odd ones out. Now comes the scary part. The old Bitcoin, the Bitcoin we know and love, is going to get destroyed. What determines a coin's success is the market cap. Big old school blockers and miners are going to dump Bitcoin back to the bottom. They will take literally billions and billions of dollars out of Bitcoin. They will use the money to fund the market and development or Bitcoin Cash. Think Bitcoin Core fired. Think Forbes article why Bitcoin miners and companies are moving to Bitcoin Cash. Think why the market is using Bitcoin Cash is Bitcoin, not Bitcoin Core. They will all say the market has spoken and the people have voted with their money. Right now, the massive huge shorts are being built already on Finex. Shorts are at 32k, not seen since $200, these kinds of numbers of shorts, and is climbing all the time, constantly. They have a lot of coins to short. The most faithful kind of selling is where it never bounces. If you remember Mt. Gox from 1000 to 70, you remember what no bounces feel like, and I can tell you this won't be any better. Good luck all, and remember, fair warning. Below is I grab it. I also have some Slack and Telegram logs. I will sort them out later when I get back, and I just want to confirm that I can safely disclose first for my own protection. Email from Alice to Bob, com slash AFCC zip. So, <clears throat> that's the pay spin. It was released sometime, some point in July, uh, July 30th, 2017.